legendary fighters. Five, dawn of a new age, battle five. Ubi faces the Bashar rebels and learns of their leader, of their leader's true intent. Alerted by social humanities and law, Ui Ui was just enjoying vacation when he got word of an armed rebellion. Ui Ui was dismayed. First, to attack the Arn, now the Jai and the magazine and the Bashar. All of this, while our Lord is away, I must end these rebels and find out their reason for rebellion. So Ui Ui went to his younger sister and the oldest of the sisters, Rain Ui, in order to help her and Mona and me, along with. Um, UB troops and other skeletal forces and supplies in order to meet the Bashar. The Bashar army consisted of easy top deal, top deal's descendant, post boxer, a boxer just like Mona, Hygen, a Mapa, descendant of Mapa. These were legendary. Um, leaders of the Bashar and also Rupa um, Denny a strong uh, Bashar fighter and DNA who had returned a so much in uh, legend who always took matters into his own hands and also came along with the great time disruption but chose not to take part of the great war <laughs> the enemy was large as they were gathering troops secretly for many years however OUV was determined to end this battle quickly the threat posed by the magazine and the Jedi who had escaped the furious battle was approaching. So the first order of business was to seal off their pathway towards the battlefield deep within the Moshaw space. Seeing an opportunity to make a name for himself, Dinea went dab a jab while post boxer wanted to face Mona to prove which one of them had the greatest fists. The battle was a fearsome one. It hasn't been such a fearsome battle since the early days of Sue Montrin's rise to take the galaxy and to take the space that his now descendants own. In the end, however, the Scholastica and the Scholastican troops overcame the Bashar. And then suddenly their leader arrived, and Alexis, the de facto leader of the Bashar of the Mapa had died. She had returned. Uyui was shocked by this, seeing how many people from the time disruption came and did not participate in the Great War. Just what was going on, and how many hidden figures lie within the universe. Uyui began to question his own sense of judgment and wisdom. After Anne Alexis confronted him, and the battle was a draw, Anne Alexis went. To explain herself and her actions. She wanted to test the strength of the Sumatrans and the Scholastica and the current leadership. Seeing then that her galaxy and her forces were closest to ruling the universe but were robbed by a, a mysterious figure of the past. She was concerned about Ophira, Gabba and Stubba who were a legion, a lead with this legendary figure that she talked about. Uyui was concerned. However, he heard, him, heard her out and he vowed not to rebel against the Silmachans in exchange for autonomy that for sure would be recognized as part of the Silmachan space in Imundi, but they themselves, along with the Chidinians, 
or govern themselves. Uyui was not in the full position, position to make such a claim. However, he will wait for the Lord's eventual triumph and conquest of the universe after the legendary fighters tournament to make such decisions. Rian pressed Alexis and Alexis and the other Bashar leaders to disclose who this figure was. They refused, as his name might have invoked a curse upon them. Seeing this, they did the Scholastican and the Uwe clan and the Uwe clan decided to do their own research into this. A darkness had fallen upon the skies of the Sulamachan galaxy. An uneasiness began to merge just what fate lied at the end of this last tournament will the universe belong to Sir Machin or will it belong to another <laughs>